I must admit that I quite like fashion and I've often thought about setting up my own fashion label DTC fashion design label. But where do you start? Where do you find suppliers for such a magnificent undertaking? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you Xenia and I'm going to show you Dolce & Gabbana and you'll get to see for yourself exactly where those people source their products from so that you can learn how to source directly too. With that being said, let's go. You want to source some, some clothes, for instance, or you wanted to start your own fashion label. You can use this exact strategy to find great, uh, not just work stuff, but all sorts of different um, products and services as well. Okay, so this is Dolce & Gabbana, one of my favorite clothing brands. Uh, the movie as well is absolutely fan friggin tastic. And so we can find out what Dolce & Gabbana, what they're exporting and what they're importing, who they're exporting to, who they're importing from. We can find out that information as well. Okay, so here's Dolce & Gabbana US of A. We can see that they've got a total of 1,180 shipments. We can see who is supplying this mega high-end fashion brand. And we can see also who they are supplying as well. Okay, so it allows you to do uh, competitive research, which is great, but it also allows you to find amazing supplies for your own, if you're interested, clothing brand as well. Okay. Same for Xenia, uh, another one of my favorite clothing brands. Their clothes are unbelievably well made, uh, ludicrously expensive as well, but they're super, super well made. But again, Xenia, well, let's just go look for those guys. Here they are, Xenia. So we can see they've done a total of 145 shipments. We can find out where they are importing their stuff from. Where do they buy their fabric from? Well, turns out is where they're buying their fabric from. Okay, make your own assessments about that. But if you were wanting to start your own clothing direct to consumer brand or whatever it is, then here's how you find out where to buy those products from at that high level. Okay, you can find out all this cool stuff like they've got Spain, Lithuania, China, the number of high end brands who import from China is un friggin real, unreal. That's a very, very simple way of sussing out who's actually supplying these high-end brands if you want to set your own direct to consumer or your own fashion brand up, for instance, as well, okay? Why don't companies hide this information? Well, because the information is found on... Uh, something called a bill of laden, which is a publicly available document that lots and lots of different um, uh, elements of supply chain have to access so that supply globally can happen without a hitch. Okay, so that bill of laden, because it's a publicly available document, has got all of this kind of information on it. Now, you can um, use shelf companies or you could use your freight forwarding company to hide you as the actual importer. So Xenia, for instance, you could hide that by having it the freight company. But most big companies don't bother with that. They don't give a rat's ass. And most consumers have got no idea this sort of thing even exists. And frankly, they probably don't give a rat's ass that it exists either. Okay, so not only do they not know about it, they don't care to know about it as well. This is only for geeky uh, e-commerce entrepreneurs who want to suss shit out like this and do their own market research and competitive intelligence. That's who's interested in this sort of stuff, not customers who are buying you know, $5,000 Xenia suits. They don't give a rat's ass about that. What they care about is the brand behind the product. That's what they care about. Learning this information kind of ruins uh, shopping for you because you get to you get a, a, a peek behind the curtain, so to speak, of what really goes on with these big 
multi-billion dollar brands, you get a peek behind the curtain of that. And that can kind of ruin the shopping experience for you. You can become a little kind of jaded to that sort of thing, you know. But as Hayden says, tiny percentage of people are interested in that. It's just as geeky e-commerce entrepreneurs that are interested in that sort of stuff. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the direct-to-consumer entrepreneurs that I am proud to be a part of their journey. Now, if you would like to find out more and find out why 2,500 people uh, are in our amazing community with millions of dollars of sales, then you can check out the link below. The link is in this description and you can come and find out more about what we do. Now, don't forget subscribing, that little button just down there, to this YouTube channel because we've got great content coming out all the time to help you build your own direct-to-consumer business. E-commerce entrepreneurs are welcome. See you next time.